In this video, I'll show you how to freeze fast moving subjects when combining flash and ambient light. Hello, I'm Gavin Howey and you're watching Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama, the camera store that's got everything for us photographers. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use high speed sync flash to freeze action. Now, high speed sync flash has a couple of uses. The first one is for a shallower depth of field, and I covered that in a previous video, and you'll find that on the Adorama Learning Center. And the other one is for freezing fast moving subjects. And for that, I need something really fast moving. So I've come here to Skaterum, and we've got Jack, who's an amazing BMX rider, as our subject today. When I'm using flash normally at my camera's flash sync speed, which is 1 250th of a second in my case, your mileage may vary, I can get a good picture if I want to get rid of the ambient light. But the minute I want to bring some of the ambient light into the picture, that's going to be recorded along with the flash. Now, the flash will freeze action, but some of the light from the room will also be recorded, and that can add a bit of smudging. Well, that's the theory. To test it, we need something really fast moving. We need a jack. So, Jack, are you ready? Okay, come on in. Now that shows really dramatically how both ambient light and flash is being recorded, and the effect is quite impressive. And if that's the look you want to go for, perfect. But in this case, I want to freeze the action. Now, the only way to do that is to get my shutter speed higher than 1 250th of a second, but that's a limit of normal flash operation, unless you turn on high speed sync. Now, luckily, with my Evolve 400 and my R2 Pro trigger, all I have to do is press the high speed sync button, and now I can go beyond my flash sync speed. How far should I go? Well, that's the first question I've got to figure out. What shutter speed do I need to freeze Jack in action? I can make my life easier by trying to capture Jack at the top of his wall ride, where he's moving the slowest. But with a best guess, I reckon maybe two thousandth of a second is my shutter speed of choice. I'll do this without flash, just to show you how it looks without flash, using the same settings but a faster shutter speed. Okay, Jack, are you ready? Okay, away you go. Now these pictures are really dark, as I would expect, because remember, I'm going to light Jack with the flash. All I wanted to know was, can I freeze him at two thousandth of a second? And the answer is yes. So I know my shutter speed. I know my aperture, because I'm going to use the same one as before. And I'm left with the ISO. Now the ISO is going to allow me to drag more of the ambient light in or reduce it down, depending on your taste. So at the moment, I'm on a reasonable ISO 400. I'm going to take my ISO up a lot, maybe 3,200, and see how that looks. But before Jack does his run, let's just take a, a picture of where he's going to be, and then I can assess the ambient light that I'm recording. And at 3,200, that's pretty good. I reckon I can actually take it down a little bit from there. Just personal taste. Let's maybe take it down to 2,000 ISO. That's a nice round number, 2,000 ISO, 2,000th of a second. That just makes sense to my simple mind. So, turn the flash on. Remember, Jack's being lit by the flash, high speed sync flash, but I can't meter this. I couldn't get a flash meter out and work it out that way. I need to do trial and error. And just by experience, I reckon this is gonna be a low flash power, maybe one 128th power. So, right down at the bottom end of the power range. Let's give that a try. Jack, are you ready? Okay, here we go. Nice one. And there we go. So now we've got a great shot with Jack frozen in air, lit by the flash, and some of the ambient light in as well. Once I've got my basic settings, I can jiggle them around slightly, but the most important thing is to take more pictures. So let's have another bash at that. Jack, are you ready? Okay, I'm going to come a little bit closer, be a little bit more daring. Away we go.
work really well. We've got some great photos. If you want to find out more about Jack, check out his Instagram feed at jack.pike. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, leave me a comment below. Click on that bell icon to never miss one of our videos. And most importantly, click on the subscribe button. I'm Gavin Hoey. Thanks for watching.